Well, good morning. It's Brother Eden Douglas uh, with another stream of consciousness thought uh, in my The Mindset Of hashtag, The Mindset Of series. Today I want to talk about the mindset of you, me, us, them, they. We are always looking for a savior. We have spent most of our young lives and certainly a lot of our adult lives listening to pundits, talking to uh, people who should have answers, preachers, teachers, priests. We admire our professors, those who have skills in particular subjects. We gravitate to people that we believe can help us understand who we are, why we are, where we are, and what the heck we're going to do next. I want to encourage each one of you that's listening to my voice. Today, I want you to look inside. I want you to really start to trust your own counsel. You are wonderfully and marvelously made. You have a brain that rivals any computer that's ever been created or will be created. You just have to learn how to tap into your own abilities, your own resources, your own capabilities, and then you have to trust yourself. You have to trust yourself. You have to get to a place where you stop believing someone smarter than you. Now, there may be people on record that were classified as geniuses and, you know, by the standard that was measured with them, we can say they had a certain amount of intelligence. But maybe the genius that is inside of you just hasn't been measured. You have to begin to believe in yourself. You're given a lot of power to a lot of people and some people you've never even met. You repost their post. You put their platitudes on your page. You believe something about what they're saying. It resonates inside of you so you repost it. It means something. And if you have the ability to recognize intelligence, if you have the ability to recognize spiritually grounded people, it means something inside of you knows exactly who they are, which is like recognizing like. So today I want to encourage you to start being your own hero. Write yourself in your story of how this world gets better it's not going to happen because of them, they, and some other foreign alien that comes from another planet. That would make it way too easy and almost let us off the hook. I think today you want to challenge yourself. You really want to start saying, I have control of my life. I have control of my friends. I have control of who I choose to follow and invest my time and effort into. And there's a lot of great things happening right now in the world. There are people who are going to make a change. I believe in them. But that doesn't mean you can't do it also. I need you to find your voice. Find your unique voice. And then speak out. Oh, you don't have to have a national forum. Just tell two friends and then have a gathering once a week where you just sit down and talk about the things that has everybody else troubled and displaced and fearful and see what you can do in your own little inner circle to assuage these fears and, and get people to understand that if we spend all of our time talking about what's wrong, who's wrong, we never make any progress. We only make progress when we say to ourselves, well, what are we going to do about it? This is my contribution to that. I hope I inspire you to want to be better. The tangible evidence of being better is good health, a calm demeanor. You handle stress totally different than anyone around you. That's what you're striving for. 
if I can be an example to that, I'm, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Because I really don't want to be. I love living in the shadows. But my life doesn't seem to be keeping me there lately. So here I come. And if I'm coming out of the shadows, I'm coming with all the light that's in me. And I'm here to tell you, I see the light in you too. I really do. So encourage yourselves, encourage another, encourage me, <laughs> so that I don't just speak into the darkness anymore. Let me know that what I'm doing matters. I want to know how it matters. And then let's make a plan to maybe do what I said physically, we can do it virtually too. We can gather in one place once a week, once a month, and truly discuss what's really going to move us forward. Okay? That's our charge for this week. The mindset of you. Peace.